Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. I've been saving my first time listen to Electric Callboy's new single, Spaceman, for this moment. And that's kind of a big deal because I love Electric Callboy. They combine clean and harsh singing together in the most fun way that I have ever heard. Plus, they have in past videos made me want to bob my head like a pecking chicken, go to the gym, and play April Fool's jokes. So I'm wondering what I'm going to want to do after listening to today's video. Let's get to it. I'm a spaceman, got a rocket on my back. Spaceman, oh, I'm raving like a maniac. Spaceman, got a rocket <laughs> on my back. The universe is down for my rave attack. Yeah. Fünf Chigagari, der die Boxen doch mal auf. Gestern noch im Trockenbau, heute bin ich Kosmonaut. Ja, ja, jeder kann sie sehen. Da am Himmel weiße Streifen. Wer braucht von euch noch Beweise? Ja, die Erde ist eine Scheiße. <laughs> okay. I should mention right away, this is a collaboration between Electric Cowboy and German rapper Finch. So we got in there some German rapping. I'm going to go back and see if I can catch more of it. That was fun. I... I was wondering what their hair would look like after seeing um, bowl cuts in one video and <laughs> mullets there were, were in another video. The way that his hair grew out of his helmet as he took it off was extra special. Yes, let's go back. <sighs> Spaceman, got a rocket on my back. Spaceman, oh, I'm raving like a maniac. Spaceman, got a rocket on my back. <laughs> the universe is Man. down for my rave That attack. hair roll. Finchy Gagari, dreh die Boxen doch mal auf. Gestern noch im Trockenbau, heute bin ich Kosmonaut. Ja, ja, jeder kann sie sehen. Da am Himmel weiße Streifen. Wer braucht von euch noch Beweise? Ja, die Erde ist eine Scheibe. <laughs> oh, oh man, she is uh, genetically beautifully enhanced. <laughs> that's, that's great. Um, this, I am really digging that they've added another type of uh, vocal, singing vocals to this, right? We've had the harsh vocals before, we've had the clean vocals, and now we have rap, which I feel is really catching so many different aspects of vocal expression in this, which is awesome, super awesome. It's also incredibly witty. I was trying to go through it and catch all of the words. I think at one point he said, Trockenbau? He said, I like, yesterday I was, uh, drywall, I believe is what that translates to. And that now I'm a cosmonaut. <laughs> that was Finch the rapper. <laughs> he was really, really witty. And then um, we also had, um, oh, we're gonna just go back and listen to that whole section. There's so many words that go by so quickly. Love the countdown too. That's so rocket. <laughs> there you go. Drywall, Constant. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, did he? I think it's yes, the earth is flat. I want to say, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? My German is is pretty good. I lived in Germany for a little while, uh, well, a year, and studied and sang uh, at the German Opera House there in Dresden. So it's pretty good, but sometimes it's a little rusty. So, but I think he just said something about the earth being flat. <laughs> Ooh. 
religion is grave. <laughs> so, by the way, that was Finch, and then after that we had Kevin on the harsh vocals, and then we have Nico singing this... I think this is the chorus that he just sang. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Steht vorm Supermarkt, dreht die Boombox an und geht zu Scooter ab. Klau mir sein Rausche, fliege hoch Richtung Mars. What? Dreht die Boombox an und geht zu Scooter ab. Klau mir sein Rausche, fliege hoch Richtung Mars. Something about cabbages? He just made a sound that was indicating cabbages. What? I love, I love this nerdy character that Finch is playing. He's, he seems like the funnest office nerd to work with, period. Um, it's like the rap, I feel like because we have so much hardcore rawr that comes from Kevin, and sometimes you go to his harsh vocals too, because there is right, so much ferocity with that, that having a rap that feels a little nerdy is a really fun contrast. Dreht vorm Jupiter, steht vorm Supermarkt, dreht die Boombox an und geht zu Scooter ab. Klau mir sein Rausche, fliege hoch Richtung Mars. It's like turkey cabbage. Rausche, fliege hoch Richtung Mars. such a catchy chorus, right? They do that partly through repetition and they have uh, the same melody and then they'll come back to that melody a couple different times in the chorus and then they'll come back to the chorus again and again, right? When you do that, the song becomes more sticky. So it just starts repeating in your head over and over. It becomes catchy. It's already in my head. It's already looping. That's a great sign, right? But then in the part where we're just feeling like total headbanging moment when Kevin is going for these harsh vocals, it's still got such an upbeat beat, right? It feels, um, uh, it doesn't feel like death metal. It doesn't feel like I'm being pulled down into the earth, into the like fiery underdark, right? No, instead, I feel like I'm just kind of having fun and, and bouncing in a club. So you've got this kind of techno feeling behind it. It's really, really fun. I don't understand how, I never thought that harsh vocals or this kind of really hardcore music would feel so much fun to me, but it really does. It makes me wanna makes me wanna jump. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the Oh no, gotta go back a little more. <laughs> so much Star Trek reference and Star Wars too right if that lady was blue she would totally belong in Star Wars not him the lady yeah she should be isn't she blue in, when she's a, a, a Tatooine I think so I think so anyhow um 
I like space movies. <laughs> Maybe the, the result of this is going to be that I have to go back and watch all of the Star Wars movies, all of them. Okay, maybe just three of them. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a Rocket Man reference? <laughs> I know I heard Martians in there, Klingons in there. Thank you. Thank you for being so nerdy. Ah, oh, it's delightful. Let's talk a little bit about how these three different vocal types are created, right? So with just clean singing, you have your two vocal folds that come together. And when the air comes up, they go wacka, wacka, wacka. And as they do that really, really quickly, they create a pitch. Like it has to be 440 times per second of them going wacka, wacka, wacka. That's so many times per second for them to create a concert A, which is the A that orchestras tune to. So... Uh, that's clean singing, that's doable on these true vocal folds because of the way that their structure is created. It allows for really quick self-sustained oscillation. It's insane. It's one of those things where you go, wow, how did we ever get to this point of being able to sing? Whoa. Okay. Then you have your harsh vocals, harsh vocals, all kinds of distortion. That's made by things that exist above your true vocal folds. You have your false vocal folds. Um, there's some cartilages up there. There's your epiglottis as well. Those things essentially constrict above and they can create different kinds of distortion, which is really cool. Uh, when people get into trouble vocally making harsh sounds, it's when they're trying to create distortion with their true vocal folds, which can damage your singing voice. Right. That's that's not the best idea. Don't do that at home, kids. Uh, and then as far as rapping goes, rapping, because it has pitch in it, is using your true vocal folds, but it's tending to activate and pay a lot more attention to, especially the enunciation on top, which is all even further up here. So if I were to say, what regions each of these singers think about focusing on more? Nico probably is focusing more on this sustained oscillation that's creating pitch, right? That's more down here. Then Kevin is gonna be, or any harsh vocals that come from Nico or Kevin, would be thinking about a little further up in the vocal tract. And then after that, for rapping, you're gonna be thinking about the enunciation and timing up here more. Though rapping is using clean vocal folds as well, right? There are pitches, they're just not sustained in the same way that clean singing sustains them. So anyhow, quick vocal science lesson on where you might focus if you're doing these three different styles. <laughs> wow. They are so excited about Elton John. Viva la Elton John. Long live Elton John. Yeah. I don't blame him. Rocket Man. doing with her hair What? 
what, okay, let's go back just a little bit. I didn't realize it was ending so soon. I hate it when songs end before I'm ready for them to end. Okay, just notice how often this chorus has repeated. This is part of what makes their songs so sticky, so much fun. It's very important and I think it, especially when we're talking about progressive rock, a lot of times those take us on a, a long journey. And I know a lot of people that watch this channel are loving that journey that you go through in many rock songs and many metal songs. This is coming back to that more standard structure for a lot of pop music. And I think that that is part of the reason that it ends up being so much fun. And the reason it ends up being sticky and it keeps going through your head over and over and over. Coming back to that chorus again and again is a really good way to make somebody have an earworm. Mission complete, that's what's happening. This is such a cool sound at the end. I love the synths. <laughs> awesome. Ooh. Walk away into the sunset. Yeah. Yeah, do it. <laughs> awesome. I really dig the way that they put rap together with their clean and harsh vocals, they've essentially taken three styles and successfully made them cohesive so that they're always still going to be massive fun, right? Not only do I feel like I need to watch Star Wars all over again, I also really want a space suit now, and I still want to bob my head like a chicken, and I still want to go work out and play April Fool's jokes. And by the way, if you want to see all of those videos and analysis, you can check that out in this playlist over here. I hope to see you all again soon.